right, so, yeah, you can see the windows, but that's because this isn't a discussion video. Also, I probably look a little bit different because I screwed up shaving, and, uh, yeah, this just kind of, just kind of happened. I also have this spot right here that's irritated, drives me crazy when my face doesn't look absolutely perfect. Anywho, I have a package, which I'm hoping, hoping, will be the first of many Christmas packages, but I sincerely doubt it. Because there's like three or four of you that do this. But, anywho, I have a package from Adam. Now, this is pretty funny because uh, this was, a long time ago, um, supposed to be some sort of late birthday package. But I basically said, hey, how about you just hold on to it, add a few more things to it, and then send it for Christmas. But, I do indeed have a package. And so now, I'm going to have to get into the package. But, uh, I've always got a knife on me, so that shouldn't be too difficult. I just want to say, I, I appreciate when, uh, people do this. And you don't have to do this kind of thing, but some of you do, and it's always really very appreciated. So let's go ahead and slice and dice and get into this and see what has been sent my way. <clears throat> Adam always says that he wants to, uh do something evil, which is basically put stuff in, like, boxes upon boxes. Like, you know, huge big box, inside that's another box, inside that's another box, inside, 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 inside. And then, you know, I finally get to my present. I keep telling him to try this, but he never seems to do it. So maybe the next package that he sends will, uh, be more like that. Always well, gotta be careful. I don't want to cut the wrong thing. There we go. The tape is being a bit of an ass. There we go. Close that up now. Oh, shit. It looks like we got a card and everything. How sweet. Let's see what we have. Merry, Merry Christmas. And many, many bright tomorrows. Brett, this year has been filled with so many ups and downs, but one thing remains certain. You're one hell of a person, and I am honored to call you a friend. Adam. Thank you. That's very sweet. I like to think I'm one hell of a person. Don't listen to the trolls. They don't know anything about me. I can be a real asshole, but of course the people that are uh, closest to me do know that I'm, I'm alright. I'm okay. I'm a little bit, yeah. Uh, okay, I, I'm a prick, but still. I can be a prick or I can be really nice to you. It all depends on how you behave. Alright, so I'm guessing you want me to open things in a certain order because there's stuff on top. So I'm going to go ahead and go in what I perceive to be the order you want me to open things. And you take the shit out of it, didn't you? Let's get the knife back out. It doesn't matter how much tape you put. I am brutal with a knife and I will get into stuff and you can't stop me because all I gotta do is make a nick and get one side open and once I get one side open I can just slide the item out <sighs> I do like that Adam goes the extra mile and does uh, put stuff in like Christmassy packaging and stuff I remember um my other beautiful subscriber that sometimes sends me stuff, he used aluminum foil, which was funny. Uh, you know, nothing against the aluminum foil, but I do like it when people wrap stuff up. It's pretty neat. Oh, we have a 360 game, it appears. Mercenaries, World in Flames. Now all I gotta do is get the Xbox copy of Mercenaries and I'll be set to go. These games are actually pretty fun. I played the old Mercenaries on uh, PlayStation 2 back in the day. But in order for collecting, I'm going to have to get an Xbox copy. But yeah, if you've never played Mercenaries, they're actually pretty fun for just ridiculous destruction and shooting. Put that right there. We have another one. Another game just covered in tape. Let's go ahead and get this one open too. See, I'm careful because I don't want to... The last thing I want to do is fuck up the game that's in there. But I also don't want to spend all day dealing with tape. And this knife is super sharp. You have no idea. It's the best fucking knife I've ever bought. Ooh, we got something. Looks like something for X-Bone here. Hey! That's pretty cool. 
he has sent me a copy of ReCore for the Xbox One. Now, I had interest in this game. I haven't played it yet, of course, because I didn't have a copy of it. But it looks like a neat little game. It is, uh, I think, very loosely a shooter, but it's also action and platforming. And it just looks really neat. So I look forward to playing that. That's pretty cool. Thank you. ReCore. Also, for you SJW cunts, it's got a female protagonist. Ooh, equality. What else do we have? The hell is this? I don't know. Ah. We got two minutes remaining. I'll do a jump cut. We have some sort of tiny box. And I'm not entirely sure what it could be. It actually feels like two games. Ooh, it could be handheld games. See, the funny thing is, Adam. Uh, most of this is a surprise to me because I have terrible, terrible memory. But Adam did at one point tell me about a few items that were supposed to be in here. And I think the only thing that I really remembered was uh, Recore. Because I have terrible, terrible memory. But this feels like a couple of handheld games. So we're going to see what's in here. Oh, I was right. We do have some handhelds. What do we have? We have Freedom Wars, itty bitty little uh, game. I don't know a lot about it, but I know that it looks neat. And there's a lot of stuff on Vita that I have yet to experience, and this is one of them. There's a lot of things on Vita that I would consider must have, like Tearaways must have, Killzone Mercenaries must have. But uh, this game just looked really neat, and it was on my wish list. So thank you, Adam, for sending it. I look forward to playing it. My Vita collection slowly grows. But we have one more game in here. What is this, I wonder? Ah, <laughs> I've been wanting to play this one. Thank you. Child of Light, which the only physical edition of this is on the Vita. And honestly, a while back, I was looking at, um, they had a PSN sale, and this was on sale for, I think, like seven bucks. I was like, I really want to get it, but I also want to get the physical. So thank you. I finally have a copy of Child of Light, and I can play it on my Vita. I love the Vita, by the way. I, I absolutely, positively love the Vita. The Vita is fantastic. If you haven't played a Vita or you don't own a Vita, go get a Vita. All right, we have... This game was sticking on the side. I'm going to go through it next and see what it is. Am I making Am I making it through these a lot faster than you assumed? Like, you... you you really tried with the tape, but I'm just so good at getting inside what I want. That sounded sexual. I'm uh, I'm really good at just you know I just carve, I just carve my way through one corner of it, one side of it, and then it opens up easy, as, easy as can be. What do we have? Ooh, swanky. Shadow of Mordor, the Game of the Year edition. Now, there was some controversy revolving around this game a while back, but to be perfectly honest, the game looks pretty damn phenomenal. I actually tried a little bit of it, and uh, it's fun. It's hacky, slashy, it kind of resembles, I want to say, it loosely in combat style, it resembles the Assassin's Creed games. But I've always been a big fan of Lord of the Rings. There's quite a few games that I've wanted to try out. For instance, I want to try out, I think, War in the North. But I don't know, that game's so old now, I don't know if I'd enjoy it as much as I would have if I tried it when it was brand new. But Shadow of Mordor honestly looks really fucking cool, and I look forward to playing this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me put that under the Vita games. All right, it looks like we have two things left, and they're big boxes. Gee, I wonder what is in these. Let me put that box there. But like, like seriously, all I did was, all I did was cut one edge. So you're gonna have to do your boxes idea to make it a lot harder for me to get into some of these. Let me check and see the recording. Oh, uh, we got plenty of time left, but I'm gonna do a jump cutting. All right, so we got boxes that are light and shaped like Funko boxes. So I wonder what's in here. And I can actually just grab right here, I think, and pull. Oh, no, you're not going to let me? There we go. There we go. Oh, shit. I think I see the blue bomber. I've had a lot of people ask me about these things, and I guess now I'm just going to have to start putting a few of them on my wish list since people want to send them to me. But Adam has sent me a Mega Man Funko. 
Now, again, I'm not a huge fan of Funkos, but now I've got so fucking many of them, I, I might as well say yes to people that want to send these. But if you're going to send me one of these, make sure it's something cool. Because, like, on the back, I see there's a Proto Man. That would be cool to send. But, um... I, I don't, I'm not a fan of the Funko figures, but I think some of them are neat. For instance, uh, one of my subscribers sent me a Cyber Demon, which was actually really fucking cool because he's massive and scary. But I do like Mega Man, so the Blue Bomber is welcome as a Funko. So if, you, if you're going to send me these Funko things, just make sure it's something I like. Like, I know there's not going to be the Legend of Dragoon Funkos, but if those existed, I'd have to have every single fucking one of them. But, um... Final Fantasy, um, I already have a Fallout Vault Boy, um, you know, Doom, uh, Resident Evil, uh, I've seen like the Nemesis Funko, that looks cool. You know, there's different things that I could, uh, I can enjoy from them. But yeah, since people keep sending them, I guess I'm just going to say yes from now on. And speaking of Doom... Mm. Alright, Tate, you're getting on my nerves, stop it. Also, I realize, how annoying is this thing I'm sitting on? Sorry. I'm sure it's making a lot of noise. Alright, Tate, give up. I don't want to mess up the box. There we go. Hey! Got ourselves a Doom Marine. I, I, I gotta be honest, he looks pretty cool. He's got the super shotgun sitting there. Looks pretty badass. Um, yeah, there on the back is the Cyber Demon. I have one of those sitting over there, so I guess I could sit the Doom Marine next to his Cyber Demon buddy. But, like, if you're gonna send me these Funko things, just make sure it's something that I like. Um, I think Adam Howard asked about these, and my memory was shit, so I didn't remember exactly what he had, uh, he had considered. But, uh, when it comes down to the Funkos, just make sure it's something I like. For instance, I have an out-of-box... Raphael, and I know you're supposed to keep these in the box now. So if somebody wants to send me Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Leonardo, like a whole set of Turtles Funkos, go ahead and do that. But just make sure it's something I'm going to enjoy. But like, I've had people ask about random Funkos. Like, do you want a Superman Funko? No, I don't want a Superman Funko. I don't even want Funkos, but y'all keep sending them. So yeah, and if Legend of Dragoon suddenly has Funkos, I fucking want every single one of them. I have to have every single one of them. But... To reiterate what he sent me, he has sent me a Mega Man Funko, a Doom Funko, the, the Space Marine. He has sent me Child of Light for the Vita, Freedom Wars for the Vita, Shadow of Mordor for the PS4, and one I'm really excited to play, Record, for the X-Bone, because I, I have not played the X-Bone. I have thoroughly ignored my X-Bone. It's kind of sad. I feel bad for my expo. And he sent me Mercenaries World in Flames for the Xbox 360. So, again, this is the first of what I hope will be a few Christmas goodies. But I want to say thank you, Adam. I want to say thank you to those of you that watch. And I always enjoy these sorts of things. Like, not to get sentimental, but like my family isn't too crazy about my hobby. So they're not going to send me shit. I, I thought it was funny. Um... One family member I was cool with, I'm not cool with as of right now because we said some shit to one another. She had said she wanted to get me a $30 GameStop gift card, but then the next day she bitches because I spent all my money on video games. Number one, I don't spend all my money on video games. And number two, I work for every fucking penny I get. I'll spend it on what I goddamn well please. But it's always nice when there are people that like me like my hobby. They send lovely, lovely cards, and they just say nice things. I actually have a box of these somewhere. I've got cards galore. I even got a card back there from from about Granny. But uh, when it comes down to it, I always appreciate this sort of thing. And so, the more of you that want to do this, the better. I have the Amazon wish list up so people don't have to ask me, hey, Brett, would you like this? You can just go on the wish list and be like, Brett will like this. Click. And then all you got to do is be like, hey, Brett, check your mail. Shit's out for delivery. And I'll go check my mail, and then I'll know who sent it, and I can do a video like this. And I like doing videos like this. It's never been a, it's never been a, you know, a ha ha look what I got. It's always a, a thank you to people that are generous to me, people that are nice to me, people that give a fuck. So it's always sweet. It's always appreciated, and I look forward to playing a little bit of Child of Light. Honestly, holy shit. But uh, thank you, Adam. Thank you to those of you that watch, and thank you to those of you that may or may not send me stuff in the future. It's always appreciated. You don't have to do it, and. It brings a tear to my eye. So, yeah. I think I'm going to play some Child of Light while ReCore installs. You guys take care. And uh, I hope you have a Merry Christmas.